So my name is Amanda Demopoulos. I'm a research ecologist with the U.S. Geological Survey and my specialty is benthic ecology, so I study animals that live on or near the seafloor. On the current expedition, I'm on the Okeanos Explorer in the Central Pacific Ocean, and we're investigating uh, deep sea corals, sponges, and fish communities within the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. The part of the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument that we're exploring includes the Helen Baker Islands as well as Titoff Seamount. All of these features are within the Helen Baker unit of PRIM, the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. These dives that we've conducted in this region were the first ever deep sea dives uh, within the unit. And what we've seen basically were the first eyes on the seafloor here. I was really struck by how diverse the different habitat types are here in terms of the geology and geological terrain. In particular, when we did our shallow dives on Helen and Baker Islands, we came upon these really karstic rock features that look like um, cathedrals. Really large, high archways, really complex features, basically that nature created. And within these cracks and crevices and archways, we found all of these different animals that are basically using these features as a home, including different kinds of bivalves and corals, and sometimes we would find an octopus hidden away and tucked away within these uh, cracks and crevices. So I think I was struck by the diversity of habitat types as well as diversity and abundance of the animals. by investigating the seafloor with the ROV and taking really good imagery of what's on the seafloor. We have been able to gather some information on the distribution of deep sea corals, sponges, and fish communities within the region. And that information will be used to better preserve and protect those resources and better manage uh, the monuments and the protected areas that we've been investigating here so far. And we have a number of interested scientists on the shore side who will use those data to write proposals to come back here and do further investigation because what we have done is really only the tip of the iceberg. 